but other styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky rhymes with waves and perms, just sending junkie rhythms right Hey guys, what's up? It's Carlo here, and today I wanted to go over my shadow boxing routine. I use shadow boxing as a way to warm up, get my muscles nice and loose prior to my uh, heavy training and my workout. So uh, it's a great way to kind of do your checks and balances, make sure that all of your boxing is on point before you really start to get into it. Um, the great thing about shadow boxing is you can do it relatively anywhere as long as you have a good amount of room. Um, you can do your shadow boxing, but it does help. Uh, to have a mirror as well as a full boxing ring if you do have a membership to a boxing club um, using the boxing ring is essential as well uh, mirror is great because the reflection will really, um, really help you point out any um, any errors that you might be making and you correct you can correct them as you go along so if you see that your hands are dropping if you're not pivoting properly if you're not using a good amount of head movement the mirror will show you that and you can make corrections the mirrors don't lie uh, the great thing about having a boxing ring is that you can really use it to gauge your distance and work on both your defense and your offense. Um, having that boxing ring, um, you can simulate being on offense and pressing your opponent into the corner or against the ropes and using your, your, your combinations and just kind of working your angles on your opponent. And if you're on defense, you can work on um, counter punching, um, moving your hands, blocking shots, as well as pivoting and moving out and make sure you don't stay against the ropes against uh, an opponent that is very um, offense or pressure minded. So uh, make sure you're using all those tactics when you're doing your shadow boxing. Now there's a couple more things I wanted to go over. The first thing would be your punch mechanics when you're shadow boxing. Don't just throw punches um, just for the sake of throwing punches. Don't th you know? Don't throw a million punches. You don't have to sit there and, and try to go as fast as possible. You want to make sure your mechanics are on point. Your punches are turning over. Your hands are coming back to your face where they came out. So they come out the same speed as they come back. So they pop out, come back. Um, you want to make sure that your hooks uh, are coming over, you're turning your punches over, and the weight distribution is coming from your from your left to your right, and your hips are, are rotating. So you're getting that full extension, and you're popping into your punches. The next thing is your footwork, making sure that you're pivoting, you're not crossing your feet, um, you're using your lateral movement, and you're not staying in one spot. Um, when you're sparring or if you're in a competition, your opponent's not going to stand right in front of you. So you need to prepare yourself for that. Use your footwork to move, be evasive, work the angles, and put yourself in an advantageous position against your opponent. The next thing would be your head movement. Make sure you're slipping. You're slipping the jab. You're pretending that you're counting, countering, so you want to make sure you can slip that jab, come come over the top with a straight right hand, or you can come up and you want to you know, throw in that sneaky uppercut. You can slip the straight, come up with an uppercut, or over the top with the hook. Um, you can also pull counter um, using that head movement. Or if you're in that red zone and you're in the pocket with your opponent, making sure that you're not squared up with him and you're constantly moving your head, setting yourself up some combination, go to the body, do the good, do the good old Mike Tyson's, uh, hook to the body, uppercut up the middle, so you can work all those things with your head movement. Next thing is moving inside and moving outside. So don't just stand at the same distance in front of your opponent. That's an easy way to get tagged up. Make sure that you uh, come in with your jab, set it up with your jab, and launch your combinations, and then make a defensive move and get out of there. So make sure you're moving inside and outside. The next thing you want to do is make sure you're working against the rope. So you're not always going to be on offense. The punches are going to be coming out you. So you want to make sure that you're working against the ropes, having your back against the ropes. That way you can learn how to counter, work inside with your opponent, and then pivot out to get out of there. Especially if you're against someone that likes to throw a lot of punches and apply a lot of pressure. The next thing would be cutting off the ring. Now if you're on offense and you find yourself... Uh, pursuing your opponent don't just follow them around the ring like a snake you want to make sure you cut off the ring especially if you have your opponent hurt and you're trying to finish them off you know if they try to get out that back door make sure you cut it off the ring and get around them so they don't try to sneak out if they go to the left you want to go to your right to cut them off if they go to the right you want to go to the left uh, you get my point you get what I'm saying with that so cut off the ring don't follow them around next thing is defensive awareness if the punches are coming in, make sure you're pairing your shots, you're moving your head. If they're going to the body, you compress your torso and you drop your elbows to really get make sure you don't get hit with that liver shot as well as get hit to the solar plexus. So defensive awareness and making sure that you're not an easy target and that you're not giving them any real estate to make it easy. You want to make their life miserable, make it hard for them. Uh, don't always be in that range. Make it easy. Make it easier for yourself and make them work towards your game plan, not the other way around. 
Last thing is mix it up. This is shadow boxing. So don't just keep doing the same combinations over and over. Make sure you mix it up. Throw jabs. Throw a double jab. Throw a triple jab. You know, throw a one-two. Maybe you want two, one-two, one-two hook. Do the one, two, three, four. You can do anything you want to do. Mix it up.